So then, welcome to the Adam Val YouTube project. You may have seen over the last few days, Val was on his week on vegan. It was completely fake. He lasted 15 minutes and he was spotted in the local kebab shop. However, if you've not seen it, check out, he did five days on vegan. A lot of vegan products were tasted and tested. I think he did really well, to be honest. Let's give him a little round of applause because I think he'd done well on a week on vegan. Moving on from vegan, we're done with vegan on this channel. We're gonna be having a look at this. And this is plant-based from Cadbury's. So this is a Cadbury's plant-based, fully vegan chocolate bar. Now, Cadbury's did release a, a press statement with this. They released a press statement and it basically said, sorry it's taken us so long, but we wanted it to be perfect. So that's what Cadbury's have said. Cadbury's have said, look, other companies have got vegan plant-based chocolate out there. We, we, we've taken a little bit longer because we wanted it to be perfect. That's a bold statement. It's almost like they're apologizing for, oh, we forgot to do it. I reckon in the boardroom that was like, we forgot to do a vegan pod. Oh, we, we ain't done nothing plant-based. Oh, we've, we've messed up here. And then they like, let's get working on one. What are Galaxy doing? What are Nestle doing? Get, get working on a, on a, on a vegan-based chocolate bar. And we'll just release her things later on saying, sorry, it's late, we wanted it to be perfect. It's a bold claim because it now needs to be pretty much perfect. Let's have a look inside of this with some close-up shots of the Cadbury's plant bar. And this comes in two flavours. I can't remember what the other one was, to be honest, off the top of my head. But this one is just, I think it's plain, but it is made, I think, with almond milk. There we go. Let's have a look inside and see what this bar looks like. And we'll come back. We'll taste it. Of course we will. <laughs> seen inside everything you know what the chocolate bar looks like so I think this is timed exclusive to Sainsbury's it won't be a it, it, Sainsbury's are saying it's an exclusive but I'm saying this is a timed exclusive eventually it will be in all shops I'm saying but Sainsbury's are going yeah we got that as a timed exclusive as, as an exclusive but I think, I think it's a timed exclusive on the packaging I noticed this as well wrapped in a hundred percent plant-based packaging so I'm not saying eat the packaging, but in theory, just going by that statement there, you probably could. And one, one little, quite, little, little gripe is, I might try to eat a little bit of that packaging in a minute. It just says something, there's a little star and it says plastic, blah, blah, blah. Um, one, one little gripe is, just because you, you, it's 100% vegan, I am gonna get to this little gripe, I ain't tasted this yet. But a little gripe is, and I've seen this before, where like McDonald's and KFC, they release their plant-based meal, and it come in like a non-plastic packaging and plant-based boxes and all this. Just because you're you're vegan or, or vegetarian and that, even if you're a meat eater like me, I still might want to cut down on plastic. So I want a chocolate bar. I still might want to cut down on plastic, Capri. So if you are doing this plant-based packaging, Roll it out to all your chocolate bars is basically what I'm saying. So let's taste this, not the packaging, the chocolate bar. I've not had none of this at all yet. There it is there. And it's a little bit more expensive as well. That was £2.50. Why again? Our plant-based stuff or vegetarian or vegan stuff. I'm sticking up with a vegetarian and vegan now. Why is their stuff always a little bit more expensive? Cadbury, so you want this to be perfect, dear? Well, you've come to the right channel testing out giving this an honest review it, does, it smells like cabbage chocolate it's almost a chocolate that feels like it's never going to melt it's got that smooth sort of look, there's nothing on my hands it's got a smooth sort of feel to it why it smells like cabbage chocolate there's a hint a little hint of almost cheap chocolate as well kinetin mixed with a bit of cabbage that's the smell i'm getting Let's have a taste of this. Let it melt in the mouth. Mm. 
So ingredients, sugar, butter, cocoa, almond paste. There's no milk or nothing in this. However, it's made in a factory where milk is produced. So they have put little boxes warning, may contain milk, sesame or other nuts. That's because it's made in a factory where they make milk. They ain't built a whole new factory for this is what they're saying. Have a, let's have another bit. Something just fell out of the cupboard. Right. It's a smooth chocolate bar. There is a tinge of an aftertaste, but it's not that sweet an aftertaste. It's got a hint of Cadbury's taste, the, the Cadbury's taste we know and love. It has got a hint of that. A little tangy, a little tangy at the back of the throat aftertaste that I'm not quite enjoying. I wouldn't say it was perfect, Cadbury's. I don't think you've lived up to your marketing hype of saying we wanted a weight because we wanted it to be perfect. No. It feels like, it definitely feels like it's missing something. It's not bad. It's not horrible. It feels like it's missing something though. But it is leaving a funny sort of taste where I'm, I'm almost a little bit put off having any more. It's not chocolatey enough. That's the word. It's not chocolatey enough. I remember when I pulled it out, I said that it's not melting in my hand or nothing. It almost feels like it's like fake chocolate. It's still not. It's not been in the fridge, and I think it's still not like melting in my hand. It's almost like a good effort, A for trying, but execution, you're probably getting a D, Cadbury. So on that, I'd probably give it a. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. A 6 out of 10. 5 out of 10 because it's £2.50, so it's more expensive. It's getting a 5 out of 10. I'm personally a little bit disappointed. However, I do understand and, and, and just, just understand that if you are a vegan and you're after some Cadbury's chocolate, that's the best you're gonna get at the moment. If you are vegan, you're after some Cadbury's chocolate, that right there's your best option. A Little bit more expensive, not as tasty, not as chocolatey, and leaves a little bit of a tang on the aftertaste. But overall, like I said, A for effort, D for execution. Five out of ten there, Cadbury. I reckon back to the drawing board. A little bit more work into that one. You lot take care. For more Adam and Val related product reviews, subscribe. It's just down there. There's also a like button down there as well. Push that as well if you want. We'll see you on the next video. Cadbury's. Plant based. Bar. Disappointment. A little bit.